what's up guys and my female followers hope you all have a a nice day and happy thanksgiving by the way so i'm gonna talk about this topic right here um god got ways of getting our attention okay so it don't matter who you are it don't matter where you are but if you are truly his and you're chosen. He got ways of getting our attention. So there's certain things that he will allow us to go through. And I will sit up there and say, I would want to call it like a rebirth. So um, you could have that in two different ways. Either you would experience a rebirth through physical death or you would experience a rebirth through character so once you die and you stand before him it changes it all i i, I, I still before him y'all so i can sit up there and, and say this and i'm, I'm gonna also tell y'all and show y'all what the closest thing that I seen a picture that I can get what he looked like. Okay. Um, and that's another topic I'm going to get on. He's a giant, uh, but he's not like, um, the white G he's not white Jesus. Like he's, he's different. So I'm going to actually show you all the closest image that I could get to what I seen when I stood before him. So I've experienced this. God got ways when he want you to change or to make you change. I think that's the correct term or word I'm trying to say. So imagine like doing what you want to do for all your life, good or bad. And imagine if you're doing so much bad, like just imagine bad, like it could be harming people or whatnot. Once God gets your attention and you stand before him, you, you, you're going to know when, when, when he got your attention, because you're going to experience a rebirth. Yo, when I sit up there and say a rebirth, you're going to experience a rebirth. And it could be a physical rebirth to make you sit down and change. Or it can be another physical rebirth where you actually die and you stand before him. And he talk to you and you come back into your body and it make you change. So if you haven't experienced this, you won't understand what I'm saying, but for those that have experienced it, you know exactly what I'm talking about because I experienced it myself. Okay. So God got ways of getting our attention. Y'all, if you haven't experienced a rebirth, you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you have, for those that have, y'all know, y'all know. So he got ways of getting our attention to sit up there and make us change. Calm us down. Hey, I don't want you doing this no more or, or whatnot. And he'll actually sit up there and talk to you. Like when I stood before him, he was actually talking to me and I was talking back to him. You know, and it's crazy, man. Y'all, I never sit up there and uh expected nothing like that. But I did. I stood before him, y'all. And I'm gonna sit up there and tell y'all exactly. What I seen, what I experienced, and I got outside of my body. So it's just like, yo, most people, they don't think, they don't believe in nothing that they can see. Like, they can't see. They actually got to see it in order to believe in it. And then you want to know why or where, why your loved ones died, like, where they go. And the best explanation that i can explain like when i try to research it when my mom died 
listen to people who passed away to see what they have to say about the afterlife, you know, and what it is they experience people who die and come back y'all so that's this is what i'm trying to say a rebirth god will sit you down and give you a rebirth you will actually physically die and come back inside your body or he'll give you a rebirth to make you change you won't where you won't actually die he will sit up there and make a situation happen where you will become so down and out you won't have no other choice but to physically change so it's that will be a re rebirth too but it will be like i'm speaking up on a death rebirth where you will get up outside of your body you will die and stand before him then you come back inside your body and you will physically change or you can have a dramatic experience like life experience here where you don't get up outside of your body and you can still change he got ways of, of changing us y'all you know, so I, it's crazy. I experienced it. I to sit up and stood before God, y'all. God, and I'm going to sit up there, and, I'm going to sit up there and say this right now. God is not happy with what is going on within the world. He created us all, y'all. Regardless if you believe in him or not, if you don't believe in him, that's, I mean, that's your opinion and, and whatnot, but don't sit up there and come on my video talking reckless, okay? This video is for the people who actually believe in God. And you want to know what's outside of it. Um, When your loved ones die or when you stand before God. My experience, this is what I'm, 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 I'm trying to explain. Okay? So, it's crazy. He didn't put us here, y'all, to be murdering and killing each other. And then it, they sit up and say, yo, um, the white people kill us, but then we killing us too. That's crazy, y'all. And you know, I'm I'm y'all don't know, but the people that know me know I'm not racist. So we got white people that love us the same way as we love them, but we know we got y'all know we got plenty of of white people that don't like us and they hate us you know what i'm saying so it's just not it's not good when they stand before god i'm gonna tell y'all god is black he's my complexion i'm gonna tell you he, i stood before him and this is another video i'm gonna make i stood before him and god is a giant he's he's like 100 feet tall you have to look up to him you know well that's another video i'm gonna make but when you stand up, when, when these people who's racist, who hate black people so much, yo, they stand before him, they're going to be shocked. They will be amazed. They hate it. Black people because of their skin tone, because of whatever. You know, it don't matter. You can sit up there and hate a black person because you think we all gangbang, and that's not the truth. Not all of us are the same. Okay, some of they're misguided. Okay, that's them. But you can't put everybody in the same category. You feel me? So once they stand before God, the God I seen, <laughs> they're gonna be shocked and amazed. And once God tells them to depart from them, depart from him, ain't nothing. If you rate God don't like racism, y'all, regardless. You know, and it's a, it's a lot of other stuff he don't like, but I'm going to kind of try and stay on the topic. Rebirth. God will give you a rebirth when you've been acting out too much. He will sit you down when you've been doing all of this, or all of that. He will cause you to go to prison to sit you down if what he has came to you to speak or try and get your attention and you're not listening. He will sit you down to make you listen regardless if it's a death, rebirth, or actually physical rebirth. He will get your attention. Trust me, y'all. Trust me. It's many people who sit up there and say, oh, I went to prison or I went to jail and it saved my life. That's God. 
you know so it's crazy y'all but for those who have an open mind most people don't believe in things that they can't see if they can't see it, oh it's not real you know and i sit up there and post videos i got angels around me all the time you know uh but once my camera pick them up oh then they believe if they can't see it they don't believe you know once my mama died uh she made hearts with with the birds they were flying formation to make hearts for me and what whatnot and people didn't believe until I captured it on video. I got video footage of this, y'all. Video footage of it, you know? But it is what it is. I kind of got off subject. But no matter what I sit up here and say, you always got a hater. Always got a hater. You know, I would do my grill videos um, just for people who wanted to know how it was to get diamonds in, in their grill. Diamond grills. And then... Uh, not too long ago, I had somebody sit up and say, oh, people got their priorities messed up. I bet you, uh, you, you, uh, driving a hoopty. I said, who driving a hoopty? I got to escalate. So it don't matter. Like I'm not materialistic or whatnot. I, okay. It's, it's okay to like to have nice stuff, but I'm not materialistic. I'm sitting up there doing videos that God give me and then doing videos that I want to do, but I'm not, I never not one time sit up there and put myself above anybody else i'm a human just like anybody else but for you always got a hater y'all man you always got a hater driving a hoopty people got their priorities messed up man i'm one okay if i want a diamond girl i'm gonna get it how do that make me have my priorities messed up because i'm always used to having a grill whether it's gold diamond or whatnot why does that matter I'm the one who provide a roof over my head, right? Housing, food, um, the vehicle I drive. So how is that me having my priorities messed up? When in all actuality, he probably is the one who's driving a hoopty. Which it don't matter what somebody drive, but why do we always have to hate on each other, man? Why can't we be... Oh, I'm, 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 I'm glad to sit up there and see you progress. No, nothing like that, man. It's just like... People that view my videos, my my people who subscribe to me, they are most most of y'all y'all uplifting and things like that. But I'm talking about like the outside people who come in and comment. I had to delete that comment, and then I did say something back. But guess what? I ain't got to explain myself to nobody but God, but God, because that's it. It's not about materialistic stuff and y'all keep watching me you're gonna sit up there and see the goods that i'm gonna do in the world god told me to sit up there and help the people that's going hungry in the third world countries and uh i know i'm getting off subject because i was supposed to be talking about reborn but the people that's going hungry in the third world countries would appreciate it more than excuse me the people this right here in the USA, people, most people in the USA feel entitled. They they feel like things are supposed to be handed to them. If not, we're always used to walking in the grocery store, things being readily available for us. I think I said that right, but if I did, you know what I'm you know what I'm trying to say. Um. We take for granted the things that we have, you know, and a young lady called me from Haiti to video chat with me and I couldn't believe it, man. The guys was just like, I'm sitting right here right now on concrete floor, just sleeping, just like this. The females was like on a, 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 a cot pit, lifted up a little bit. But man, I can't believe what I seen. So now I know why God spoke to me and said, help the people this in the third world countries. So I had my plans too for the USA, but how people have, like just how people act and how people have done. The USA, most, I notice I say most people are not worthy of help because they feel too entitled. They feel more than they're not appreciative of anything they feel entitled and that's not what god wants for us we should be thankful and grateful 
any given moment, at any given moment, no matter what you have, because it can't be taken away. You know, and the people in the third world countries, I see now why he said help them. Um, They would appreciate it more. The things we take, take for granted here in the U United States, they would appreciate it. And I know they would. So that's why he said that. And he don't want none of us to uh, go without or struggle. So I kind of got off my subject, but I had to uh, say that. So physically, the rebirth would be rebirthing a change within you as an individual. And most people don't even know what it is. They don't even know they they don't even know they're experiencing it or going through one, you know, until it happened and you go through the process and you like, wow, okay. I remember when I sit up there and had this out of body experience, or I remember when this happened where I got locked up. Now I see, you know? So like I said, God has ways of getting our attention. And once he tried, all that he can and once he is done it is what it is so regardless y'all we are all going to die it doesn't matter okay we're gonna die when we die and we stand before him because you will trust me y'all you will stand before him because i have stood before him i had an outer body experience and i stood before him you will stand before him you will either <laughs> go to heaven or hell, or you will be put be placed back in within your body. Okay? So if God is lenient enough to give you a second chance to do right, do it. Regardless if it's being locked up. Uh regardless, man. The rebirth. Okay? That's what I would call it. A rebirth. A physical death rebirth or Something happening to you, traumatic, to make you, to make and cause you have to have a rebirth, a physical rebirth, a death rebirth, a physical rebirth. Now, they ain't going to teach this in <laughs> church. They ain't going to teach it in school. They ain't going to teach it in history. But this is what I call an actual rebirth. When you stand before God and have an auto body experience or you have a life changing traumatic experience to make you change death rebirth physical rebirth god got ways to reach us and get our attention no matter what you could be a drug dealer you could sit up there and be a killer no matter what you have done god will forgive you and he will still reach out to you to grab a hold of your attention it's up to you to listen. It's up to me to listen. It's up to us to listen. To try and make that change. If not, he try and warn. He warn us all, y'all. He warn us all. I'm not saying you ain't you you don't have to be perfect. God know we're gonna mess up before we, he know what we're gonna do before we do it. You know? So it's just yo, try to be the best you you can be. Try not to do wrong. To nobody. And just ask him for forgiveness. Like whenever you can. So. That's it. But. That rebirth. Is a life changing experience. That's why you have people on YouTube. That's why you have people. Speaking out. Wherever they may. Speak out. Seeing. Let me tell you what happened to me. God allowed it to happen to them. To make them change. To make them change. To make them see. Ooh, when you have that. And go on YouTube. Ooh. YouTube. They sit up and say, Oh, once you die, is it, that's it. It ain't no God. It ain't no heaven or no hell. If it's not a God, if it's not a heaven or a hell, when you Google or you YouTube people who have died and came back to tell what they seen, how can you 
sit up there and say it's not a God? How can you sit up there and doubt what these people are seeing when it's more than one, more than two, more than three? Listen to these people experiences when they had died, got up outside of their body, came back, got locked up. God talk to people when they locked up too. And that's another video I'm going to do. I got several of my homeboys who got locked up. One of them, God reached. And I want y'all to hear his testimony, you know? But I don't know, y'all. I really, I, uh, I don't know. I do work for God and stuff like that too. But I like do uh, jewelry videos and stuff like that too. So I'm more so... I don't know. I, I go where God lead me, okay? God lead me. So I don't want to be the type of person that come off like, oh, Shonda preaching and blah, blah, blah. No, it's just I do what God tell me to do. Yeah, I make the grill videos too, but it's just I do what he want me to do. So I want to sit up there and get up on this topic real quick, even though I got up off topic. Rebirth. You can have a physical death rebirth, or you can have a Physical life rebirth. So death rebirth. You die. You get into an accident. You die. You flatline. Come back inside your body. Oh my God. I stood before God. Or you can sit up there and have a, <laughs> a physical rebirth where you a traumatic experience happened. You you come close to death, but you don't get up out of your body. Um, You, you get locked up or something uh, really very bad happened to you to make you change. That's what I'm trying to say. So that's the my definition of a physical rebirth. And it's crazy. And when you had one, when God hit you with them rebirths, you will change. He'll get your attention. If you don't, <laughs> you a bad MF. And know that he tried to warn you. He tried to warn you. He tried to give you these physical and death rebirths to try to make you change. But you disregard it. Remember that now? Because we all going to stand before him. And we all going to die. There's one thing that's certain. Say you disbelieve. How can you disbelieve? You believe in the wind. When the wind sit up there and blow, you can't see it. But you feel it, right? You feel it. I don't sit up there. Y'all, I got videos. I got angel orbs around me all the time. All the time. You know? And it's just... People, sometimes no matter what you do, they'll never believe. But guess what? It don't matter if you believe, disbelieve, or not. Once we all going to stand before him, and I'm telling you this because I stood before him. We all going to stand before him. Once you stand before him, don't sit up there and shit yourself dead. Forgive me, God, for cousin. Don't do it. Because remember, I'm telling you, you're going to stand before him. If you're a racist individual, you need to try and change it. We are all, when, we, when we're young kids... We go by what we're taught. But when you become an adult, you sit up there and learn for yourself. Learn to think for yourself. Just because your parents are racist don't mean you have to be. Okay? Just because your parents was a gangbanger don't mean you have to be. Just because your parents sit up there and join gangs don't mean you have to be. You have to be the one to break that cycle sometimes. Okay? And that's what God used me. Uh, to do was break generational curses up off my bloodline. And I didn't even know I was doing it, y'all. I didn't even know I was doing it. So I'm just telling you, sometimes you don't have to be. He just used you. If you sit still long enough and be quiet long enough, he'll speak to you. That still voice. He'll tell you what he wants you to do. And when you're obedient, he will bless you. That's why I'm about to be blessed. Nothing never came easy for me. But then I, I sit up there and hear, oh, people going to hate as long as we live. Yeah, they going to hate. Well, oh, she got her priorities messed up. Oh, getting grills. That's what I wanted, so I got the grills. Oh, I, I bet you you got a hoopty. Be, forgive me, God. I don't have a hoopty, so it doesn't matter. If you watch my videos, you will know I ain't got no hoopty. But it don't sit up there. I don't think I'm better than nobody else. No nothing. But you always got a hater. Sitting up there bumping their gums. Talking about nothing. It's worthless. To me. I don't care. I care about God. And I care about trying to get the message out. He want me to get out. To relate to people man. To relate to people. Okay. So. 
Anyway, I hope y'all have a nice Thanksgiving. It's your girl say what? Yeah. Hopefully y'all take something from this. Remember, God is watching when nobody else is watching. And on that note, we all got angels around us that's watching. Angels that look out for us. Even when we're not praying to God like we should. Even when people don't like God the way that they should. Even when people doubt God. Even when they don't believe in God. We still got angels watching out for us. That's why God spare our lives. I remember sitting up there uh, before I go. Where I worked at uh, probably like 12 years ago. This young man, he was so nice and I really liked him. He said he didn't believe in God. So I remember uh, I talked to him probably like a, a year ago. And I said, do you still not believe in God? He said, no, Shonda, I believe in God now. So I said, what happened? Because you didn't believe in him. So he said, I had a life experience that made me believe in him. God will get your attention. Listen to me now. You ain't got to listen to me, but believe he will get your attention. No matter what he got to do, do a rebirth, a physical death rebirth, or a physical life rebirth. Remember what I said. Rebirth, y'all. It's your girl Say What, a.k.a. LaShonda Stroger, and I'm out. Yeah.